is often a time when restaurants close, not open. But the Twin Cities has seen a handful of openings over the last few months, including one spot that's getting a lot of buzz in Minneapolis. This morning, DeRussia eats at East Side in Minneapolis. It is hard work to build a restaurant. Uh, we're trying to do food for this neighborhood. Chef Remy Pettis prepared by leaving his hometown of Minneapolis to cook in the nation's best kitchen. It's a gamble, it's a risk, it's a scary, but um, I think we're off to a good start. Owner Ryan Burnett prepared by running Barrio and partnering on Bar La Grassa and Birch. To work with a guy that has that sort of background and that, uh, that resume is just it's just outstanding. This is the first place that is all Ryan's own. It was scary. It was, it was with all the liability that comes with, you know, signing a lease and going to the bank and all that. It's it was a, a lot of sleepless nights, which are getting better now. East Side is American cuisine, familiar flavors mm. with surprising twists. I love duck, and that is good duck. There's salmon with pomegranate vinaigrette, Sweet. a cassoulet with Look clams and pork. East Side is on the east side of downtown. Like so many new restaurants here, it is beneath 300 apartments. Most right now are empty. I was um, a little concerned about being too early to the dance on this side of town. But U.S. Bank Stadium will come online by summer around here. New offices, new homes. It's like 2,000 apartments within seven blocks of here. But judging by the nighttime crowds, Burnett is not too early to the dance here. He spent money on a consultant to train the excellent staff and built a place for neighbors that's become more. I thought that that there was room in the market for us to do something that with the right execution would make this a destination where people want to come a couple times a week. We're listening to them and getting feedback and we're we're planning on sort of evolving um, our cuisine and our offerings to, to what people want. Great cocktails, approachable deliciousness. No surprise, diners are moving on up to the east side. I might just sit here and eat the whole thing. Yeah, it was, it was very good. They serve dinner only over there, plus weekend oh. brunch. Uh, east side is one of the first restaurants, actually, that we review in my new uh, role as food editor oh. for Minnesota Monthly, so that's on oh. newsstands right now. But, uh, you know, Matt, you were asking well, about yeah. the apartment bit. Sure. So Brasserie Central, uh, very close by to Eastside, opened and closed in yeah. a couple of years. Are they concerned about kind of being in that apartment building, have the same sort of setup? His larger concern is that there are too many restaurants, period. Not oh. that there are too many restaurants in apartment buildings necessarily. Mm -hmm. But every apartment building that's opening up in the Twin Cities has a restaurant yes. in it. Yeah. Are there too many apartments in the Twin Cities? Mm, what happens when these apartments? Oh. I don't know. Like these are all going to be interesting things for the market to shake out. We used to have no restaurants in apartment uh, buildings, yeah. so those diners are coming from somewhere yeah. or not coming from somewhere. In the case of Brasserie Central, usually parking is difficult at these places. And if you're paying rent to live in those places downtown, maybe you don't have money left over for dinner. Yeah, That's true. But it is a worthy place. It's very good. Give it a try. I've heard a lot about the brunch, so I'll have to go. Give it a shot.